what's going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 ultimate team video it's friday which means we got brand new competitive pass updates but also we're gonna go over everything that's happening right now in mutt 24 great time to do it we usually do this each and every friday afternoon so let's talk about it competitive pass did update by the way worth noting and i mentioned this last week as well the compass basically has about three weeks left to it but if you take a look at the season five field pass this one expires in about a week and a half. Now, the Comp Pass doesn't have Season 5 XP rewards in it, so I can see why they'll be able to get away with this now, but every other Season Pass and Competitive Pass has kind of gone hand-in-hand -hand and expired in the same week, so this one's going to be a little bit different. Now, with the Competitive Pass coming to an end in three weeks, people are trying to finish it out, get that free 98 overall Zaven Collins and all of the other rewards in it. Normally, by now, we would get new Milestone Objectives. Well, we didn't for whatever reason. Once again, EA didn't put any in here. I'm sure there's a ton of you that have maxed these out a long time ago. I'm getting pretty close here, but I take my time on these. It just is what it is. We did get new updates on head-to-head -head seasons, solo battles, and Mutt Champs, of course, so you can play through and get more XP for that. And I don't know if this is uh, the main reason why they're not adding milestones is because this competitive pass... It does feel a little bit easier to level up, or it's a little bit shorter, so it's a little bit easier to level up, and there's still three weeks to go, but at this point, I just would have loved to see them add those milestone rewards. So, let me know down below in the comments section, what level are you on your competitive pass and your Season 5 field pass? I want to know where everybody is on this one. I mean, I'm super far behind. I grind two different accounts, so it's hard for me to keep up on everything competitive pass-wise, but I would imagine the majority of you are going to unlock this Zaven Collins at level 38 at some point this week which is a really really good card the only problem is i mean this card's better than all of the other options but we've had now five free outside linebackers most of them pass rushers this one's going to be better as a user but you talk about team of the year micah parsons the season five field pass tj watt the sugar rush trayvon walker and of course yesterday we got the carl weathers but you know this card definitely is is the best option out there and one of the best users in the game uh hopefully a lot of you are going to be able to max this one out very soon maybe even this week now the max reward is going to be level 42 three ultimate legend packs ultimate legends will be coming out on saturday no, I don't think they're going to be coming to an end. I get that same question every Monday, every Wednesday, and every Saturday. Is this the last Ultimate Legend drop? Is it the last AKA drop? Is it the last Weekly Wildcard drop? And the answer for all of those is no. Ultimate Legend specifically usually lasts all the way until like late June, maybe even early August. Well, no, late June, maybe early July. So we'll see what happens. But if you happen to unlock these packs today, save them for tomorrow. And at 7 p.m. tonight on Twitter, EA should be revealing the brand new Ultimate Legends. Going back to the Season 5 Field Pass, I'm almost there at level 43. Andrew Whitworth is that reward. Very good card. Gets Identifier for 0 AP. Gets Secure Protector for 1 AP. Andrew Thomas from the Sugar Rush promo is better than this card. So if you have Andrew Thomas, I would continue to use him. If you don't, then this is going to be your best option option at left tackle. The good news is this card hasn't changed, but the Carl Weathers card yesterday, and I put this in my video, they changed it. It quick sold for 65,000 training. They fixed it. You can't do it anymore, but this Whitworth still does. So if you earn this card and you have Andrew Thomas at left tackle, I think it's safe to go ahead and quick sell this one. Andrew Thomas is the better option. Again, if you don't have that card, go with Whit Whitworth as your starting left tackle and make sure you put secure protector on him. He is definitely needed. Level 45, of course, is going to give you the final token to upgrade Derrick Henry fully to that 98 overall. And at level 48, you're going to get a legendary strategy item fantasy pack. Now, there are some strategy items, the legendary tier that were in the game from the last field pass. And we got a bunch of new ones that are going to be in this pack that you can earn at level 48. Still no upgrade set in the item set section to basically trade purples in for golds. Maybe we see that at the start of season six, but I figured a lot of you are probably going to hit level 48 today, tomorrow, at some point this week, especially with the fact that the brand new Real Deals promo has 90,000 season five XP in it. So if you unlock this pack, here are all of your options. Let's go through the best of them. I think the top two are going to be the first one here that you see in the zone gives you plus five zone coverage but if you have a really good team like if you have a bunch of 97 98 and 99 overall defensive backs the likelihood is that they already have probably 96 97 98 zone so this one isn't really going to help you as much as you think it might if you have a super budget team, you maybe recently picked up the game, you haven't been playing it as much, and you got some lower overall cards that have 93, 94, 95 zone, 
this one's for you because you can make those lower overall cards get the highest zone rating so that's good in that situation i think the same thing is going to go for the plus five to pass block one if you have a really good team chances are your offensive line already has pretty high pass block so i wouldn't waste the pick on this one if you don't this could help your entire offensive line so it's definitely a good pick here i honestly think the bull rush strategy item is going to be the best one out there strength has been really really important in my opinion i've been noticing it a lot lately on your pass rusher speed is cool block sheds cool power moves cool finesse moves cool but strength is super duper important. And if you can add that to all of your defensive ends, all of your defensive tackles, plus power move, I really like that this is boosting two different attributes. This is gonna be a great way to help that pass rush later on in the year. So this one might be my favorite out of all of the bunches of, of options that you have out there. The other three, not great either. I mean, if you run the ball a ton, the plus four run block and plus one run block power on your entire O-line is gonna be good. But really only if you run more than you pass a lot, that's gonna be useful. The run stuff one, plus two to block shedding school, plus three to pursue. I don't think pursuit is that important. It is early in the year, but this late in the year, cards are good enough to where that's not going to improve them. And then the plus five to catch in traffic, I don't think there's really much difference between a guy who has 92 catch in traffic and 97 catch in traffic. So I really wouldn't waste the pick on that one. It's got to be out of, the, out of the bull rush one that gives you the strength of power moves or the zone one that gives you the plus five to zone coverage. With the real deals field pass and the upgrade tokens for these players, unfortunately, there are some bugs and glitches that are taking place right now so if you're experiencing this you're probably not alone uh number one it is possible to max out this field pass you can see that i'm almost done here i need 5,000 xp and i just want to show you my objectives uh once i knock out the statistical section i'm not even gonna have to touch the solo challenges if you like to play offline definitely knock these out that's a thousand xp for you i'm not gonna have to do all three sets i only did two of them i really only needed to do one in this situation i should be able to win four more head-to-head -head games which will give me 1.5 5k and then the showtime tracker which is completing objectives for these specific players i got one done i'm almost done with a second uh basically doing that and not having to do anything solo wise or completing all three sets will give me enough xp so if you don't like to play offline uh, it is possible to not touch the solos and still max out this field pass but i did want to talk about these objectives now later this afternoon i'm going to drop a video going over all of the best 98s that i think you should go after and pick up on your squad and also the best way to knock out these objectives so stay tuned for that video but there are some issues right now with certain objectives not counting i think burt reynolds is the main one that's not counting as far as the rushing touchdowns and the rushing yards it might just be one or the other but i've heard that his objectives aren't counting and then the brian boss worth one is definitely not counting i had a person try it out with his 98 and his 95 and i think even his 92 which wouldn't matter because you need to have a hero plus card but the one where you're not allowing 21 points in a single game is just simply not tracking now i don't know if it's been fixed as of this afternoon but these two players were the two that were really having some issues i had a few other people report the roman reign sex one wasn't counting it worked fine for me i do want to clarify with these objectives and i'll go over to the interceptions one just to kind of give you a better reference here the 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 objective where you need to get three interceptions in a single game or even the three sacks in a single game it can be a much champs game it can be head-to-head -head seasons it cannot be solo battles as far as how to get it, it it's really just it's kind of a skill issue i'm going to be honest like you know i know people are going to be out there messaging each other and saying can you let me get this objective and if you do that that's cool me honestly i feel like i have too much integrity to do that but don't let me don't take that as like a diss if that's how you got to get it done go for it i'm not hating on it go do it but the three interceptions in a game is is a little bit tough because people tend to quit pretty quickly if they throw two interceptions in a game luckily for me i got them in a game that ended up being kind of close there two of the interceptions came in the first half the third one ended up sealing the game in the fourth quarter so and it doesn't have to be with the same player like Namdi Asamoa unfortunately and again I'm going to break down all of these cards and the best ones to go after uh he unfortunately has zero interceptions for me so I knocked out this objective with three interceptions in a game none of them coming from Namdi uh and it also satisfied the objective here in the Fred Williamson section now the record 18 plus interceptions or record 16 16 plus this also can be with any player and it can be in any game mode so basically if you look at all of the players there's one objective that has to be in head-to-head -head seasons or mutt champs and then the other objective can be in head-to-head -head seasons or mutt champs 
or solo battles or even solo challenges. It doesn't matter. So stay tuned for that video. I'm going to go over all of the best solos, all of the best techniques on how to get these objectives done and also the best players to go after. Now that I've used a few of them, I can give you my opinions on them. So other than working on the objectives and the Real Deals Field Pass along with the Season 5 and Competitive Passes, that's really all that's going on in Mutt right now. There's no house rules. There's no special head-to-head -head events. Content-wise, I do think that we see the Ring of Honor promo next week. I don't know if we take a jump up to 99 overall champions or if we keep the same format of 98 overall champions and 99 LTDs. Only time will tell when the content schedule comes out on Monday, but you can certainly expect Ultimate Legends on Saturday, of course, in two days or tomorrow, I should say, uh, weekly wildcards on Wednesday, AKAs on Monday, and we'll see if it's a final release for the AKA promo because if you've been playing through your solo challenges and there was an issue where some of the AKA tokens were not granting, I believe it's been fixed. I don't know if you got your tokens if you missed out on them when that period where it wasn't working was going on. I haven't seen EA tweet about it, but there should be enough free tokens. You should be able to earn up to 30 tokens when we get new solos on Monday, which means you can redeem them for a free AKA card. And I know a lot of you have been seeing the messages, whether it's on Twitch and the comments of the videos on Twitter, there's some people that have tokens in their binder that are just simply not being able to go into sets. I think it's happening with this promo and with the Ultimate Legend tokens. I don't know what to tell you. I've seen it happen with a few people. So if that's happening to you, again, you're not alone. EA has not addressed it. I did send them a message on it. So I don't know what's going on with it, but I did just want to kind of put that out there in case you were unaware. And that's all I got for now. We'll be back with another video later this afternoon. As I said, we're going to go over and break down everything regarding these 98 overall Real Deals champions. Thank you for watching this one. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.